stovetop espresso, sort of a, a mocha pot. This one's from Italy. Uh, versus a Hario V60 pour over. This is a ceramic edition. So I'll show you. I'll show you my technique for brewing uh, this method. back we've got our espresso is ready to go we've got our MCT oil we've got my favorite cup for making small Americanos and we've got our water for mixing here this is just at room temperature so first up guys I'm gonna add the MCT oil this does not change the flavor of the coffee at all what it does is it adds some very healthy oils, healthy for our brain, and it binds with the caffeine molecule so that we don't get all the caffeine dump right away from our coffee. It's actually going to give a slower rise and a prolonged effect of our caffeine. So I'm going to add a little bit of my room temperature water first Get this oil mixed around a bit then I'm going to add in my espresso I'm not gonna add the whole thing right now because this cup is not that big oh look at those bubbles in there the oil bubbles yeah so room temperature and hot water so just by experience I know the level in the cup that I should have you know coffee mmm <sighs> very nice uh, a more robust taste I think than uh, than a V60 pour over so it's a bit more like uh, the bitter component is able to express uh, a little more express mm. the aftertaste is kind of like a lingering The aftertaste is a little flat. Actually, this Costa Rica is kind of like one of the more drier sort of taste. It's not as fruity as maybe like Terrazzo region, which is my ultimate favorite. But this is quite good. <clears throat> and now, here's my V60 pour over method. The same beans from Costa Rica, different grind size. Let's have a look. I made the grind a little bit coarser for the V60 method.
let's get our MCT oil in there. And I am very excited to try this. I like to swirl it around a few times. Definitely more depth profile than Stovetop Espresso. So I can sort of almost taste more uh, aromatics where there's more aroma that goes throughout the palate. This is very good. So in the case of these Costa Rica coffee beans, I much prefer the V60 Hario method versus Stovetop Espresso. I feel that the longer time in contact with water for the V60 method extracts more of the flavor profile of these particular beans. The Stovetop Espresso wasn't bad and I had a very nice robust cup of coffee. I added, you know, a bit less water than usual for a typical Americano. And it was quite good. I also like the versatility of being able to save some espresso for later and then mix it with something else to have a different experience. But V60 is the way to go for these type of more medium roast boutique coffee beans. Thanks for watching.